to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 2, Lesson 1, Bug Squash Introduction. The objectives for this lesson are to explain the Bug Squash project game loop and demonstrate some gameplay, and then we'll perform some basic steps for setting up the project foundation that we can build on in future lessons. Over the next week, we're going to make a project called Bug Squash, and in this project will be a player which is controlling a tower in the center of the screen. The mouse will allow the player to rotate the tower, and the left mouse button will fire the tower's cannon. Bugs are going to spawn in the level and move toward the tower, and if a bug reaches the tower, the tower loses some health. The player can destroy the bugs by hitting them with the cannonball, and when the tower reaches zero health, the game is over and the number of bugs destroyed is shown. So this is more of a high score game. It doesn't really have a win condition. It more is focused on developing a lose condition. So let's see what this bug squash game is all about. Here I'm in Unreal Engine and I have the project open. If I press play, we'll see that I am a tower in the center. I can rotate around 360. I can fire a cannonball. And if the cannonball hits the bug, then the bug is destroyed. I've also created a timer at the top of the screen and a UI indicator to show how many bugs have been squashed. And then there's also a health bar at the bottom of the screen. And you'll see when I reach zero health, the game will stop. It'll tell me how long I was playing and how many bugs I squashed. And then it gives me the opportunity to try again and start from scratch. And this is the game we're going to be making over the next week. In week two, we're going to learn a little bit more about mouse inputs and what the event tick node does. We're going to learn about functions and custom events. We're going to learn about spawning actors into the scene. As you saw, our bugs are spawning into the scene. We're also spawning these cannonballs when we fire the cannon. We're going to learn about some basic AI. We're going to learn about timers. We're going to learn about loops. And we're going to end it all by learning about widgets, which allows us to have some UI for our screen. So next, let's get our project set up. I'm here in the Epic Launcher, and I'm just going to launch Unreal Engine 5.0.3. I'm going to go to the Games tab, and I'm going to select Blank Project, Blueprint, Desktop, Maximum, include the starter content, and we'll do Ray Tracing Off. We're going to find the location that we want to put this project, and we'll just call it Bug Squash. So let's create our first level. We're going to go to File, New Level. Let's select Basic and Create. And then let's go back to File. Let's say Save Current Level. We'll put it right here in the root folder. And we're going to call this Bug Map, or whatever you want, really. And we're going to make our first actor in this project. So let's right click. We'll say New Folder. Let's create a blueprints folder just so we can keep everything nice and tidy. And then in here, let's select a blueprint class. We're going to pick a pawn. Let's call this BP player tower. And our scene here, let's drag in a player start. We'll put this at zero, zero, zero. Let's drag one of these in just for now. We'll also put it at zero, zero, zero. And let's open it up. Right now for our player tower, let's just set up a basic visual. So we're gonna use primitives for this again, like we did with the ball in the previous game. So we're gonna say add static mesh. I'm gonna use a cube for mine. We can see that there, now I have the cube. And if we go to right here where it says perspective, we can get a different view of this. So let's select left or right. And let's just bring this cube up so the bottom of it is resting upon this red line. We'll hit compile. Let's have a look at what this looks like. There we are. I do want my tower to be a little bit taller so in the Z, I'm going to go 1.5 and then again, bring it up. So the bottom of it is right around where that red line is, which is the zero line. 
with the static mesh selected, I'm going to select add again. I'm going to put in another static mesh. And let's change the name of this static mesh to be Canon. For the mesh, we're going to find a cylinder. And let's move it up here and rotate it 90 degrees. So it's about where we want the cannon to be. And if you want, we can make this a little bit longer. Let's compile that and go back to our scene. And here we have the basics of our tower that we can build upon in future lessons.